In order to have explosive movements on the ice, the goaltender must train explosively off of the ice. The emphasis for the goaltender that wants to gain speed and strength needs to be on the quality of movements. If the goaltender continues training after fatigue has set in, he will be moving at a slower and slower pace and will actually be training the muscles to work slower. In order to gain explosive power, you have to train smart and know your body's current limitations. Training to be more explosive requires hard work that is stressful on the body. Because of this, there should be a minimum of one day rest in between sessions. A proper warm up and stretch, as well as a cool down period, should be incorporated into every training session. A medical professional should be consulted regarding any injuries or health concerns. Sprint training is good to include in the goaltender's workout because it promotes quicker steps and getting the most power from each stride. Sprint training can be done in two ways. The first way will entail a sprint followed by a period of rest. The second will consist of interval training, meaning that the goaltender will alternate between short sprints and a longer recovery time consisting of jogging. When doing either type of sprint training, it is important to give 100% effort while sprinting. The length of the sprint and recovery period will vary according to your fitness level. You always want to use 100% effort as a guide. If you find yourself slowing down during the sprint training, you can either shorten the duration of the sprints or increase the recovery time. You want the last sprint to be just as fast as the first one of the day.